I can fix this thing a little bit. Or that might just have, that's just, okay, we're gonna have to rock with that for right now. What's up, y'all? Oh, hold on, I got this. One second. Yeah. Look at that, innovation. Making stuff work. Okay, that's still pretty, oh well. Wait a minute, sorry y'all. I haven't streamed in a long time, I gotta get that better. We're almost there. I have a janky setup, excuse me. Can you hear me? There we go. There we go. All right, cool. What's up? All right, let me look at the chat here. What we got going on? All right. Shout out to Upgraded Titan TV Man. Thank you for being first. Shout out to Sam. Sam's been here for a long time. From the beginning, Sam has been like y'all. Sam is a real one. He's really been here from like the beginning. Jolie, awesome timing. G, awesome timing from y'all, man. For real. You got more. <laughs> you, you got more subscribers than Michael does life. Thank you, Cash. Everything around me. What's up, Thomas? What's up, Saya? See ya. I always feel like I pronounce your name wrong. I'm sorry. But thank you. I appreciate it. The Dynamic Apprentice. Yes, I made the 100K. Like, it happened so fast, you guys. I, you don't understand how fast it happened. Like, for real. No, hold on. I got to fix this again. I'm sorry. I can't. I just can't right now with this. It's going to bother me. That's better. I would think. Oh, well. Fine with me. It's cool. Do the gritty. I cannot do the gritty. I got rhythm. Like, I can kind of just, like, you know what I'm saying? I can kind of chill. I can, like, fit in on a dance floor, but I definitely can't hit no gritty. Thank you, Apple, Apple Fay, Apple Fi. Yes, yes, Saya, uh, you have been here since the beginning. And we're just going to be chatting today. We're just going to be talking. Uh, we're just going to be chilling, going over some just random conversation. You know what I'm saying? We're just chilling, man. Y'all can ask me whatever you want. We can talk about whatever y'all want. It don't matter. Right now, we're just waiting for people to follow up in here. You know what I'm saying? Early parts of the stream. My first video was one of your South Park videos. I wish I could do South Park videos, but like no matter how much you edit it, no matter how much you try, they 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 ain't having it, man. <laughs> least favorite least favorite fast food restaurant. I know random question. Hey, I'm all about the random questions. Let's go. All right, least favorite fast food restaurant. My man Simba might hate me for this. Simba Games. Make sure y'all subscribe to him, man, for real. Uh, his channel is down in the description. But uh, I'm gonna have to go with Arby's. I just don't get. I don't get Arby's and how it's still open. But my my man loves Arby's. Adult cartoon reactions for life. Yes, like it, anything media related, we're always gonna do it, y'all. Arby's is top three, and you what? I want, like, if I actually want, like, a deli-style sandwich, I'm just going to go to a deli. Why would I go to Arby's? What? Good night. Okay, you streaming? Yes. Hold on. All right, good night. All right, that was my son. Sorry, he had to tell me good night, y'all. I've never had, I didn't even know Arby's served milkshakes, you guys. What time of the day is it where you live? Right now it is 10.04 at night, 10.04 p.m. 
I tried to create my own adult cartoon way back in 1999. Well, tell me all about it. What's your opinion on Black Lagoon? I don't even, I don't know what Black Lagoon is. I don't think I've ever heard of it. RB sucks for real. Hey, shout out, <laughs> shout out to the homie Day Day. Yeah. What's up, bro? Yes, Arby's is fucking trash. I probably missed the joke stream when I hear the joke I have for you anyway. No, we haven't done the joke stream yet. We haven't done it. We're gonna still do it. Like, I'm waiting. Like, you, like I don't really have a good setup right now, but that's about to change. Like, next month we're getting a new PC and everything, and the live streams are about to get way more fun. Really, I haven't done that many, but we're about to start rolling them out. So save your joke for, like, literally, it's going to happen. I want it to be good. I'm, like, kind of preparing a rollout for it. I want to give people time to really bring their best. Where's my... Oh, yeah. This is the only one they had, and it's actually not bad, but I had to get a PewDiePie G Fuel. <laughs> oh, shit. But, but what about y'all? What's your uh, favorite, I mean, your worst fast food restaurants? Which ones do y'all think sucks? Can I spit a joke now? Save your jokes, y'all. Save them. Save them. We're going to do the joke stream, I promise. So proud you're kicking ass. Keep going, man. I don't like it's crazy. I still can't believe it. It's hard to just like you just don't know what to say. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate it, bro, for real. You already know. You already know how long we came, where we come from. Stuff like this ain't supposed to happen. Subway. I I used to rock with Subway, but I'd rather go to like Firehouse Subs or something right now. Black Lagoon is an animation about a Japanese worker transferring to an area on where he's basically in the suburbs. His new team literally steals and kills damn i I'll, I'll actually have to check that out that sounds that sounds interesting i'll probably have to ask uh uh simba about it i do not like little caesars look little caesars is like good shitty pizza you know what i'm saying like for like what the price is you can't beat it now their bread sticks or their crazy cheesy sticks or whatever they're called hey those are good i ain't gonna hold you Taco Bueno. I don't think I've ever had Taco Bueno, to be honest. Mm, excuse me. But what's up with y'all? What do y'all want to talk about? Man, it does not matter. We just chilling tonight, like I said. Just hanging out. We're going to do some more hanging out streams. Uh, but um, there's a lot more to come, actually. Like, I'm just preparing for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep doing the things that I've always done, the things that you guys like, the things that you guys want to see. But we're also going to switch it up, try new things with the homies, and just really, uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff coming, and I can't wait. Like, that's the thing. <laughs> we're really taking our time to make sure that it's all going to be good for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not just going to be my face on the channel anymore. Like, for real. It's, it's going to be fun. Bow. The cartoon I wanted to do was about four preteens in a magical school with an awful staff in there so the kids use magic to mess with their town of America. I can see something like that. That sounds, uh, I can see that being like a Cartoon Network show or something. And for more info on Black Lagoon, the Japanese businessman gets taken hostage by pirates, but modern pirates, it's pretty good. Another good anime is Samurai Champloo. Oh, oh, I've heard of uh, Samurai Champloo. Champloo, I'm sorry before 
See, like, I like anime, but I'm not, like, one of those people that fake like anime. You know what I'm saying? Just because it's, like, hot now. P because y'all all know, the kids that used to watch Dragon Ball Z and all that other stuff, they used to get made fun of. But, <laughs> but look at them now. They, they, they're going to have their own theme park in Saudi Arabia. Did y'all see that? That is crazy. That is insane. It's going to have, like, 30-plus rides or something like that. It's ridiculous. Black Lagoon is basically Pulp Fiction made in Japan. Well, I got to watch it now. <laughs> Who hasn't seen Pulp Fiction? But, uh, yeah, I'm not a big, like, I watched Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, uh, Cowboy, basic, uh, Cowboy Bebop and stuff like that. Like, anything on Adult Swim, uh, Toonami, I watched it. But, like, I didn't really get into it too much after that. Uh, Akira, obviously, is awesome. Um, what's the other one? Oh, it's really classic. Uh, fuck. It's going to mess with me now. I got to remember this. Um not death note or is it i don't know it's something like that what's your thoughts on the dbz creator passing away yo that's tragic we lost a legend you know like uh, he is response like his influence on the world is crazy like n like not only in japan but like across the world like People love Dragon Ball Z. It's one of the greatest things ever created. Um, it'll last the test of time, for sure. Dragon Ball Z and Naruto are goaded. Hell yeah. Lost a legend. We indeed lost a legend, man. Like, But I think we're in good hands still. I'm pretty sure they're going to do right by Akira Toriyama, and we're going to make sure that the series moves on and we still get good things, and it's just uh, still the same Dragon Ball Z that we love. What I am, I, I need to finish watching it. Was that Quiet on the Set, the Nickelodeon documentary? Yo. Woo. I was like, what in the, like, it's ridiculous. And I haven't even finished it yet. That's what I'm saying. DBZ brought a legacy. Facts. If you remember the plot or premise of the anime you're trying to think about, I'm sure someone can help remember. Yeah. It's like hard. It's like a, it's. It's a movie, I think. Um, you know what? I got the I got the laptop right here. What am I doing? What, what am I doing? Let me see. But anyways. That quiet on the set is wild. Yo, I haven't even finished it yet. And I'm just like, y'all are flooring me with so much right now. And we were watching that as kids. And like... How did all that stuff go over our heads? I don't even see. That's the thing. Back then, parental supervision really wasn't a thing. I was watching Adult Swim at like nine, ten years old. You know what I'm saying? I'm watching South Park, Family Guy, I'm playing GTA San Andreas. My mom's like, "Oh, cool! Look, here's a new game." I'm sleeping with women of the night and running people over in my cars, just spraying people down the sidewalk. <laughs> like it was parental parental supervision really didn't exist back then. It didn't matter. Oh yeah, but that's what I'm supposed to look up. My bad. The name of the anime. It's gonna. It's going to bother me. One second. I think I got it right here. Actually, I have it saved. It's it's on YouTube. If I'm not mistaken, I have it saved on a playlist. One second. Is this what I was looking for? Maybe. Maybe so. Yes, I think I found it. Hold on. Okay. Uh... Or no, is this not it? No, this has got to be it. We're getting closer. I know it's got to be on here. Unless they took it off. Nah, nah, why is it all? Nope. I think they might have took it off. He-Man. Not He-Man. Come on. I'll find it later. It's going to bother me. It was a movie, though. It was a movie. All right, where we go? Let me get back to the chat. Sorry, you guys. Akira, Tor Akira Toriyama... Was gonna pass away. Uh, was gonna pass anytime soon. His legacy is still alive, forever alive. 
I was watching South Park and Adult Swim in middle school. We were all. But also, oh man, I remember the jackass Viva La Bam days, Wild Boys and stuff like that. Like, uh, I watched that religiously. I hate to see what's going on with Bam now because they were really important to my childhood. Like, CKY, all that stuff. Those were good times, man. My great aunt passed away today at 11 p at 11 p at 11 a.m. Oh man, sorry about that dynamic. I hate to hear that, man. Where's my drink? I don't want to knock it over. That's the main thing. Cause that's the thing about anything red. Once you knock it over, that carpet is pff, done for. Beavis and Butthead was basically the 90s jackass. Beavis and Butthead were the first reactors. That's what they was. Beavis and Butthead was the first reactors for sure. That cartoon I was talking to you about, I have many old sheets I drew in the 90s. Want me to show them to you soon? Hell yeah, of course. I'm going to figure it out. I got to figure out my Discord stuff. Like, it's like weird. I don't know. Discord is like very uh, strict and stuff like that. Like, so I'm going to figure it all out and you'll be able to show it to me. Yeah, it's hot in here. That's one thing they don't tell you about streaming and all that stuff and just recording videos. That damn light, boy, I tell you. Whew. But then also I have long hair, so that don't help. But I'm never cutting this, like, ever. I love Beavis and Butthead, for real. Beavis and Butthead is like my top five like adult cartoons. They're like so, it's so dumb, but it's so funny. It just works. It, 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 it does, it just works. Like I went back not that long ago and watched every episode, then went and did like the newer season and oh, it was amazing. What was your video game hero? Like, what do you mean by that? Like, uh, like my favorite video game character or something? I'm going to start playing video games soon. We're still going to, uh, with the setup I have now, um, I might do like another Flash game stream soon or something like that because I can handle it. But, um, we're definitely going to be playing games on here too. It's going to be fun. We're going to do Tony Hawk and talk where I just play Tony Hawk and we just talk about stuff because <laughs> that is one of my favorite games of all time. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater is, like, amazing. Five? Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5 is trash, but, like, <laughs> there's a few trash games in the series, but for the most part, like, the first four and Tony Hawk's Underground 1 and 2, amazing. Underground is my favorite, though. The ugliest was my favorite part. Like the video game character you look up to. Oh, okay. I never really thought about that one. Who was like my video game hero? My video game idol? That's a good question. Mm. Uh. Hmm. Oh, man. It might have to be like... Crash, maybe? I played Crash a lot. I mean, I wouldn't say I looked up to him or anything, but, like, Crash Bandicoot might be, like, one of my favorites, for sure. Yeah, it's hard to say, like, as far as, like, my hero, like, one that I thought, like, that I looked up to and stuff like that, like, in that way. Because not really, but, um... Yeah, I'd have to say Crash Bandicoot. Just the early Crash Bandicoot series. I played the hell out of that. 
Favorite N64 game? Oh. Oh, favorite N64 game. Okay. Um. I got a couple in my head. I'm just debating. I'm just debating. Uh, I have to go with... <laughs> probably No Mercy. WWF No Mercy. That's probably what I have to go with. I played it so much. Just all the WWF N64 games, GoldenEye, of course the Mario games. I... <sighs> I don't think anybody can really say like Super Mario is there. Like that was everyone's favorite. Like, come on. That's everyone's top five on, on N64. But I'll have to go with the WWF uh, N64 series. And even some of the WCW games, those were fire. Fun fact about me, I saw South Park actually air for the first time. And my friends and I dressed up as the four boys in Halloween of 97. Our fat friend had to be Cartman. I mean, of course. You just have to. You, I mean, the skinny guy can't be Cartman. I mean, well. Let's be real. For me, it's Sonic. Sonic is Sonic is fire. You can't go wrong with Sonic. That's a respectable pick. How awesome would a Family Guy or Beavis and Butthead anime be? Also, what is the weirdest pop culture rumor you heard or learned about? Oh, there was a few pop culture uh, rumors when I was a young and I mean, I'm pretty sure some of the there. I'm pretty sure some of the ones I had were the same for y'all. Um, let me think. Uh. Marilyn Manson removed a, a rib so he could, you know, <laughs> on himself. Uh, Lady Gaga and Sierra were men. Um, there's a few more, I'm pretty sure. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? I know I can't be the only one that those were like rumors in high school. For me, it's A Bug's Life and Toy, and Toy Story 2, both N64 and PS1. Toy Story 2 ain't bad. I don't think I ever played A Bug's Life like that, but Toy Story 2 is not bad at all. Let me see. This damn thing. Oh, I see what's happening. Sorry, y'all. I understand now. Oops. Whatever. That'll have to do for now. Until I can fix it tomorrow. Where's my drink? Oh, I don't want to spill it. All right, let's see. Not to mention Star Fox 64 Fire. I can, I can agree that it's fire. Do I need to scoot over more? I probably do. There we go. That's probably better. Sorry, I don't stream very often, y'all. So I got to get used to this. You always throw your head back whenever you laugh hard in reactions. Hey, I guess that's my tick. We, I mean, we all got a thing, right? Whoever was born around the early 90s in here, the Lion King will turn 30 this year. I turned 30 this year, dog. 94, baby. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel you. That Dang, those do sound crazy. Have you heard that there was a rumor that green M&Ms made you horn... Yeah, I remember I remember that. But then didn't they change like the green um Eminem? She's not sexy anymore. Like she doesn't do the whole like hey boys kind of thing. <laughs> I don't think she does that anymore. The green Eminem's was the first one for me to hear. Aren't Skittles like killing people? <laughs> Isn't that a thing? Are, are, like right? Weren't they trying to like cancel Skittles or like the gummies or something like that? I'm like, okay, 
the thing with Disney, like, of course, I love all the Disney uh, animated movies, Lion King and stuff like that. I'm not watching none of these remakes. I don't care at all. I don't want to. Why did, uh, did any of you watch these live action Little Mermaids, Lion Kings, Aladdin, all that stuff? I'm, I'm not doing it. <laughs> like, I'm not. I think the Disney Channel original movies were better than some of the actual movies that they put out. But that's just my opinion. Okay, so like, what were you? Were you a Cartoon Network kid, a Nickelodeon kid, or a Disney kid? I mean, I had a little bit a mixture of all of them, but I was for sure um, a uh, Cartoon Network kid, 100%. The Disney remakes are bad. I, <laughs> it's really... Uh, the Lion King remake was rushed. I just didn't care for it. Like, I'm like, I don't want to see it. Just make a whole new Lion King, like twenty twenty four style. You know what I'm saying? Like there was no, there's no need to. You could do like add a new installment to the series or something. Don't just tell the same story, but just like CGI lions. But I'll tell you one thing: you ain't gonna hear about is no quiet on the set Disney edition. They gonna shut that down right away. <laughs> Disney got too much power. They said the they <laughs> Disney gonna be like the fuck if you are gonna do that. Somebody go mess around and go missing. Nickelodeon, but now it stinks because Dan Schneider farted on... <laughs> Dan Schneider farted on Nickelodeon. That's funny. Between a Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon kid, but more of Cartoon Network. I don't know. I feel like Cartoon Network just kind of had that oomph, like that one up on it. I like the Sorcerer's Apprentice. I didn't even know about that at all. The Jungle Book. Okay, that one was all, all right. The Jungle Book wasn't so bad. I can give you that one. I think the Jungle Book might be like the least worst out of all of the remakes. I've seen the live action Jungle Book. It will never replace the original, but it did stay a little more faithful to the story. As for what network... I was a Cartoon Network kid. I loved Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Ed, Ed, and Eddie is a certified classic. And when I look back at it now, you know a lot of our favorite shows from those, like, they only had, like, four or five seasons or something like that. It really didn't last that long. Like, I remember, I could have swore there was, like, a million episodes to this show. I did get my Adventure Time DVD collection four months ago. I haven't watched a lot of Adventure Time. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna front. I never really watched a lot of it. It's pretty good. It, I, I respect Adventure Time, 100%. But Nickelodeon, Dan, Dan Schneider aside, um, I think he mostly took part in the live action shows, right? If I'm not mistaken. I don't think he really did any animated stuff, but like their animated shows, they really did have some bangers though. And then there's some that like people like, I feel like they like to um, overhype but for nostalgic reasons, like Rocco's Modern Life. Like, did I watch it? Yeah, but I'm just going to sit up here and be like, that was an amazing show and I watched it every day. No. Who is sitting up there watching, who is a dedicated fan to All Real Monsters? It's not a bad show. I'm not hating on it, but like people love to uh, overhype stuff for nostalgic reasons. And those are certain shows on there that like, I'm like, okay, look, calm down all Real Monsters and Rocco's Modern Life is not touching, like, hey, the Hey Arnolds of the world. You know what I'm saying? What's up, Michael? What's going on? I only watched five seasons fully. Well, I'm pretty sure you're going you're gonna to finish it, though. Nicolas Cage. Wait till y'all... Have y'all ever looked up, like, Nicolas Cage's story? He had a $150 million fortune and blew it all away. Like, it's, uh, it's ridiculous. Wait, 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 where, uh, uh, the chat, okay, there we are. The new X-Men animated series got acclaim and it's freaking great so far. I need to see it. I do need to see it. I really, like, the X-Men is my favorite Marvel thing. I'm not, like, and that's another thing. I can't do the MC Universe anymore. There's so much going on. 
I'm not keeping up with all this. When you're trying to force me to sign up to Disney Plus to watch a show just so I can keep up with this storyline y'all got going on, no. Whenever X-Men stuff drops or Deadpool, I'm watching it. Other than that, I, mean, I can't. I'm sorry. People tried to hype up Ren and Stimpy. Yeah, like Ren and Stimpy's cool. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's funny. It had its moments. I definitely watched it. But I'm not up here like... It's just... It, it doesn't fit. It doesn't compare. They want to make a Mona remake. Oh, Moana remake. And not only... Not only they are, re, are making The Rock play his character again, but the movie is not even 10 years ago or more yet. And besides, they're making a sequel and a remake. Isn't it supposed to be live action? I don't care. I'm not watching it. X-Men 97 is a 96% average altogether. <sighs> I gotta watch it. One of my favorites, was I think it was like X-Men... What was it? X-Men Apocalypse? Or no. It was an animated cartoon. It was in like the 2000s. I forgot. It was like X-Men something. I think it began with an A. The cartoon style was different. If I'm not mistaken, it aired on Kids WB and stuff like that. That was my favorite X-Men cartoon, really. I like All Real Monsters and Rocco's Modern Life. See, I like it, too. That's, that's the thing. I do enjoy it. I remember watching it as a kid. It was fun. It was fine. But there's people out there that, like, just, they overdo it. And they try and compare it to stuff that there's no there's no way that it can compare, can compare to. I'm sorry, I'm rambling, but I'm just trying to because I see it all the time. Like, like for instance, Nickelodeon All Star Brawl Two. I don't know if y'all. I'm pretty sure y'all know about the game. I actually played the game. Um, some of the characters in the game, it's like, yo, we didn't ask for this. We don't want this. You could have put different characters in this game that are way more important and that we've been asking for. What are y'all doing? I disagree with the MCU being bad. It's my See, I was in on the MCU first. I was in on it. I was ready to go. I just can't keep up. It's like for to me it's kind of like trying to start watching One Piece. Come on. <laughs> Come on. The 90s was great. The 90s was the peak. The peak of civilization. My teenage years was the 90s. I ain't gonna lie. I got like being born in 94, I got the best of both I got the best of both worlds. That's what happened. I got the best of both worlds. You, you got to experience everything from the 90s and kind of from the 80s. And we got to witness the the technology crossover. We got to kind of see everything happen you know what i mean it was it, it was honestly a good time to be alive i ain't, I ain't gonna hold you we kind of we're kind of like 90s and 2000s babies at the same time oh. the weird part is, the weird part is that people will be biased between 90s cartoons and 2010s cartoons facts I've been guilty of it here and there, but you got to try and like not do that. You know what I'm saying? Because these cartoons made today aren't, they're not for me. I was born in 1988. All right. Just before the 90s. So you really got to experience it. That's what's up. Mid 2000s. Late 70s baby, 80s kid, and 90s teen. You really got to live it, man. And that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? People that were, like, still young, like, still uh, young enough but old enough to have, like, really be in the time. You know what I'm saying? To just really understand and soak it in and what was going on and to just be in the moment and just really live in the 90s. Like, not even as, as an adult because that, as an adult, you still got to experience adult shit. But I'm just talking about being like 15, 14 to like 16 in the 90s would have been fire. Yeah, uh, you're born in 96. You're like with me. You're like in the same area as me. 2004. Okay, 2002. 
I was born in 77, experienced it entirely. I wish I could have, man. If they ever, which I don't know why they would give it to us, but if time travel was actually like a tourist attraction thing, yo, take me to the 90s right now. I can't find, see this is my ADHD. I set stuff down and then I forget where it is and I'm just like, oh. What happened? It's like, no, nah, for real, what happened? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, I gotta be careful. I'm gonna knock nothing over. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's hot in here. Yeah, you were almost the 90s, but the two, like, the 2000s was still good, though. The 2000s are still fine. The thing about me is that I hate where my birthday is placed. I feel like I have a weird birthday too, like May 30th. I don't know anybody with like this. I've never met anyone that's ever shared the same birthday as me. It's kind of just like a weird date. It's like, I, it feels so random. You know what I'm saying? August 17th. Before 2005, you're all a part of the 90s. Ah, I would agree. I can see that for sure. 100%. I would love being born in the early 70s and not late in the decade, but I love being an 80s kid. The 80s were cool too. I feel like the 80s, like, I can't, like, the 80s is one of those times where you look back at it. It is kind of cringe with, like, the way they dressed and the hair and the outfits and everything was neon. What, uh, uh where's the beef and all that stuff? You know what I'm saying? Like, fucking, uh, Fonzie and stuff. Hey, you know what I'm talking about? Like, the 80s. The 80s was, the 80s was a funny time. The 80s was funny. I saw so many things grow in the 80s to 90s. I feel lucky. I feel like y'all are going to be like the last generation to have like really cool stories to uh, to tell. You know what I'm saying? I feel like y'all are going to be the last like generation of parents and grandparents and stuff like that to just really be able to tell people what the world was really like. You know what I'm saying? When the world was at a much different time. All, like people my age and kids now, we're only going to be able to like talk about chaos and destruction and craziness. You know what I'm saying? They're, the bad is going to outweigh the good whenever we're able to talk about growing up and the, you know this era or what was the 2010s, like 2020s. Like it's going to be terrible. You know what I'm saying? But what I can't wait to see is nursing homes whenever people my age get old. <laughs> Yo, it's going to be lit, son. PS20 PlayStation, like the PS20 parties are going to be crazy. There's definitely going to be a gaming center in the nursing homes, 100%. I was a teenager when you were born when that's actually crazy when you think about that. You know what I'm saying? There's like there's coins out there that are older than me. There's just like a nickel in somebody's pocket that has <laughs> lived more life than I have. Did you see that I'm not I'm not Starfire comic? It's basically Starfire's daughter as a goth fat girl. <laughs> what? Why would they do Starfire like that? That isn't even sound that sounds ridiculous. My voice is cracking. Jesus, am I hitting puberty again? <laughs> X-Men 97 was incredible, and that was only two episodes in. If that had been the cartoon I remember from the 90s, things would be different. I gotta watch it now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish Quiet on the Set later on tonight after I finish recording a couple shorts and like one more video after this. And uh, after I finish quiet on the set, I'm thinking like tomorrow morning when I'm getting my just getting my day started and chilling and you know have my coffee and stuff, I might check out the X Men '97. 
I mean, come on. Fire. Who was your favorite X-Men character? I need to stop shaking my foot. That's my ADHD also. Sorry if the screen's shaking. <laughs> my leg's over here. Duh. And also, shout out to Sherwin or Sherwin. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. But uh, shout out to you for coming through. What's up, Tyler? Wolverine? All right. Men's Quicksilver, but nothing tops Wolverine. Yeah. I mean, Wolverine is the GOAT. I mean, let's be real. I like uh, I like Nightcrawler. I ain't gonna lie. I always thought his abilities were cool. I always thought that was pretty interesting. I'd have to say Rogue. I love the tortured characters. Rogue actually, honestly, is a great character. Story-wise, everything. I feel like the X-Men is just like... I don't know, it's just better to me. Like, what's her name? Jean Grey, her, her storyline is fucking ridiculous. The Jean Grey storyline is fire. Simba, what is up? Hey, we got the man himself in the house tonight, y'all. We got Simba Games in the house tonight. Y'all already know what's up. Y'all already know that that's the homie. Y'all got to go subscribe to this man right now. We're about to give him his flowers right now because y'all don't understand. We're going to take a second and pause, and we're going to give this man his flowers that he deserves because a lot of people – hold on. Let me – actually, let me take one more hit first. Hold on. We're going to give this man a proper congratulations and love that he deserves because – if y'all don't know, he actually started my YouTube journey. And what I mean by that is that he actually inspired me to create my own channel and do my own thing. Granted, our um, our uh, content is, like, different, but we're still, like, it's just a thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, me and him have known each other for so long. It's crazy. Y'all don't understand. We went from music to this to that. We've been bouncing around all over the place. We've been grinding it out together. We've been doing this for, I think, over a decade, bro. We've been doing this for almost 10 years now together. So he started it all. Um, he was the first one to make a channel, the first one to have a video pop off. He was the first one to do everything. Like, I had no idea what I was doing in the beginning, but he... Um, put the battery in my back so much that I was like, I'm just going to go for it. I was throwing stuff at the wall, hoping that it sticks. I was just like, I'm going to do it, bro. If Simba could do it, I could do it. Definitely over 10 years. That's what I'm saying, man. It's, it's crazy. My favorite X-Men, probably Wolvie. Re uh, regeneration would be cool to have, but a uh, bummer if you had. <laughs> yeah. The circle of life. You already know what's up. But yes, please go subscribe to Simba, y'all. Like when I tell y'all, you're missing out, man. Um, I'm over there all the time. Most of my game streams are with him on his channel. Uh, the village, which is what he calls his community, the chat man, they're always welcome. You can go in there and play games with him, me, Gary, you're a meshy, Firestep, all these other people, a part of the community. It's really a place that you can go in and come and hang out. And just like we're talking here, we have, it's just not him playing video games and staring at his screen. My bro goes crazy. I love how haters were making fun of Gambit wearing 90s casual clothing apparel in his new cartoon. And they're, un and they're unaware that he wore fuchsia, black, and blue colors for his hero costume. Gambit was fire. Gambit's underrated. I actually like Gambit. <laughs> I'm not the Grinch, but my heart was, hey, man, I, I just, like, I can't. I got to give you props, bro, because you really started all this shit, man. I got to. 
Dead, Deadpool was an X Men one time in the comics. Wasn't he's? I think he made an appearance in the movies too, or they or the X Men made an appearance in his movies or something like that. You forgot the fingerless gloves. Gambit made a new choice there in his outfit. He's base. <laughs> Gambit is fire. Come on, y'all. Gambit is fire. Wins origin stories come from Simba himself. Pretty much. Like, he started the idea of, <laughs> of starting a YouTube channel. Like, he just kind of was like the first one that just did it. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is... Not only me, but people that did him dirty, people that didn't believe in him, friends that turned on him and shit, that people that didn't believe in him in the beginning are now trying to pursue their own YouTube career. And it's like, <laughs> don't you love how the universe operates? Don't you just love it? My man deserves it, though, for real. 100%. Please go subscribe to him. You're going to catch me there soon. Like, just, just, just go over there. Thank you and God bless you, man. Hearing that just yet put another battery in my back. Man, we're always, we're always on charge. You know what I'm saying? 100%. We on the go. TTG, train to go. That did happen. Deadpool was unmasked in the X-Men movie. Yes, you are correct. Oh, no doubt. Remy LeBeau is the hottie in the comics. Gambit and Rogue are the power couple. Yeah, it was it was an idea. I had no clue this would work, and here we are years later. Like, it really is crazy. It honestly is. God, you know how many people looked at me like I was stupid when I told them I had a YouTube channel, and then they saw what I was, like, what it was about and what I was doing? Oh, my God. Just sub to Simba Games. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Let's go. Let's talk about your content in the future. We, hey, we, hey, we can talk about that. Uh, one thing I don't want to do, and I'm going to tell you all this now. We're always going to do them, but I don't want to make it the, the main thing that I do. It's just like funny moments or like adult jokes and shows. Like I'm always going to do them, obviously. Don't get me wrong. But I don't want to make that the only thing that I do. I want to stay in this realm of entertainment, media, music, video games, stuff like that, internet culture. I want to stay in that realm, but um, I want to switch it up more. I want to go live more. I'm going to have a weekly show. It's kind of, and it's going to be called Chilling with Chat. It's kind of in the title, but like once, twice a week, or probably once a week, we'll do an episode of Chilling with the Chat where we're just going to talk. Um, when my new PC comes, we'll be able to pull stuff up on the screen, react to it, have topics to talk about and things like that. So that's definitely going to be a thing. You're going to see more gaming. Um, the type of videos I'm going to release, I'm really waiting on that because, uh, I'm not having too much luck with the videos. I don't really care. I'm going to put a video out regardless of how it does, but, um, I just want to put stuff out that people's going to watch. Obviously, you know, everybody makes videos cause they want to see because they want people to watch their videos. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of just what I'm figuring out right now. I'm always going to do the funny moments and all that other stuff, but um, I got to switch it up. It's definitely time for a change. It's a new era, 100K subscribers. We got to do stuff different, you know what I'm saying? So that's what we're going to do. And um, over the next few weeks, obviously, into next month, it's all going to roll out. You guys are going to see. Once I get this PC and do all these other things, um, <laughs> it's go time. We're taking off. Oh, damn. Let me see the chat. Y'all been going off in the chat. Hold on. Just, okay, but if you drink, do you have a favorite cocktail or drink? I just like beer. I ain't really into, um, I'm not really into alcohol too much. If I do, it'll be a mixed drink. I might take a shot here and there. It just doesn't, I'll throw up a lot of, even if I have too, like a, too many shots. I just, it just doesn't set well with my stomach. Beer's cool. Your drawn together reactions are priceless. Bravo, sir. Thank you, Kira. Kira, Kira, I hope I said your name right. Thank you so much. That's people don't know. January 1st, like three years ago, I just randomly decided during the pandemic, yeah, let's try to stream and boom. Now I'm dang near falling asleep on stream. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> they don't know, man. You got my sub, Simba. So that's what I'm talking about. Let's keep it up. I want to see more of those. 
Have you watched the cartoon series Archer? The voice acting in that series is superb win. And it's your sense of humor, I think. I love Archer. Are you kidding me? I just try not to... I really... <sighs> fake reactions. It's a thing. Let me tell you. And after doing reactions for so long, I kind of can spot them out sometimes. I don't say anything. You know, just let people do what they want. But I've watched almost every episode of Archer, so it kind of wouldn't make sense for me to, like, react to it too much. But I might... That's where it's like... That's where the funny moments and stuff like that are going to come into play. You know what I'm saying? Those compilations of moments in TV shows. If it's shows that I've already seen, you know, I don't want to sit up there and lie and just be like, oh, I've never seen that. Like, no. So it's hard for me to react to, like, full episodes or movies because I've seen a lot of movies and I've watched a lot of TV. That's what my channel is all about, obviously. So um, it's hard to do those. But the newer, like, the newer shows... And stuff like that, I'm going to do those too. We're going to try and throw in full episodes, uh, reactions and stuff like that to certain series. But that's kind of like where that comes from because I really want to keep it genuine and I can't do that to y'all. I just got to keep it real. I can't do that to y'all. That would be fucking 100K deep and I'm up here acting like I haven't seen fucking Billy Madison. Are you kidding me? Come on now. Do more music reactions. We got it, yo. If y'all don't know, I used to rap. I still kind of, I still kind of do it for fun. Um, but me and Simba are gonna start doing some fun music streams where we just be spitting bars, talking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nothing serious. It's just gonna be fun. But uh, we're definitely gonna start doing more music stuff too, and it's gonna be great, y'all. I can't wait till y'all see that. Like I'm saying, y'all really don't understand what we have planned. We have like, oh, it's gonna be fun. It's going to be great, and I can't wait until we slowly roll all this out, and then the schedules come, and then just the entire week, y'all are getting this, y'all are getting that. Simba's doing this. Gary's doing that. I'm doing this. You're a mess. She's over here doing it. Like, we're about to go crazy, and I can't wait. Have you seen Sausage Party? That's my favorite Seth Rogen animated movie. Sausage Party is Seth Rogen is one of my favorite actors of all time, and I don't care what anyone says. I freaking love Seth Rogen. And my favorites, uh, it would probably have to be like Pineapple Express, but I also love This Is The End. This Is The End is one of my favorite movies. Danny McBride is up there with Seth Rogen, in my opinion. Danny McBride is one of the funniest men to ever exist. Like, Eastbound and Down, Righteous Gemstones, Vice Principals, fucking everything he does with Seth Rogen and them, it is all hilarious. Do you think you and Simba might play or any of the Ace Attorney games? I don't really, hey, that's a Simba thing, you know what I'm saying? Ask him. He'll put me on. He'll show me what to do. Like, that guy, Simba, is, he knows his shit, y'all. He's just not playing all these popular games that everybody else plays. He really gets in his bag and shows y'all what a good video game is. You know what I'm saying? He's he, he uh, Like, don't get me wrong. He plays popular titles, but he also will pop out a title and be like, what y'all know about this? Or, like, I just copped this. Y'all might have not heard of this game, or you might not know about it, but guess what? And, yo, he really does. He really uh, switches it up. He be in his bag. Dog, I've never played Ace Attorney, but it looks like I'd have fun and turn it into something completely opposite of a lawyer game. That's what I'm talking about. My man already had an idea for it. Seth Rogen was surprisingly entertaining in The Green Hornet as a superhero. The, I liked The Green Hornet. It was cool. It got a lot of hate, obviously, but I didn't mind The Green Hornet at all. This is this is the end was super awesome. Twenty two Jump Street was good too. I like those. The, yeah, <laughs> my name is Jeff. Good boys or neighbors? Wait, good boys or neighbors is my favorite Seth Rogen movies. All right, okay. Neighbors is all right. It's like not up there for me, but it is a funny Seth Rogen movie. I actually haven't watched Good Boys yet. I ain't even go front. 
We play plague. We play play games, yo. Like hours on it, mainly because I die a lot. But I do just about anything for the sake of education. <laughs> yo, he just did like a ninety-nine stock, ninety-nine minutes. I think it was. It was like two hours in a match with Fire Step and Nickelodeon All Star Brawl Two. Y'all, that's crazy. Who's doing that? That's ridiculous. A ninety like a ninety nine minute fight with you and your friend on a video game to settle a beef is absolutely insane. Come on now. Since you have long hair, you should shake your head and hair like a metal head. Oh, it's so thick and curly, it goes all over the like I'm gonna be hotter if I do that. I can't do that right now. Even though Good Boys is produced by Seth Rogen. I have to watch it. Neighbors was okay. I agree. Neighbors was cool. Yep. A full two hour round. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like that was. <laughs> That's dedication. That's dedication. For sure. Favorite Adam Sandler movie. Mine is Mr. Deeds. Ooh, such a good question. I love the Sandman. The Sandman is one of my favorite comedians ever. I don't know where the internet got this idea that Adam Sandler was trash, but they're tripping. That's an actual narrative on the internet. Does he have some bad movies? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, oh, he's hilarious. But I would have to go with... I'm going to have to go with Billy Madison. It's just, it's just a classic. I think that was one of the first Adam Sandler movies I remember seeing. Have you seen the film Dogma, directed by Kevin Smith? It has the usual Jay and Silent Bob. I have seen everything Jay and Silent Bob related. Y'all, Jay and Silent Bob is one of my favorite things ever. I did not like the, re the recent one. I am not going to lie. The most recent Jay and Silent Bob was trash to me. And I was so disappointed. But... I have so many quotes running through my mind. I'm not even going to do that to y'all right now. Worst movie you've seen, but it's so bad, it's good. Oh. What is the worst movie I've seen that is so bad that it's good? Oh, damn. Uh... What is... Probably the old Mortal Kombat movies. That's got to be up there. The old Mortal Kombat movies for sure. As a kid, it was super entertaining, but I watched it back, and I was like, God, what, what, what the hell? Y'all are going off. Hold on. Thank you, Joshua. What's, <laughs> Joshua, what's up, Joshua? What's going on? Salma Hayek is amazing in Dogma. Definitely one of my favorite. Oh, Salma, Salma Hayek is hot. 100%. Are you kidding me? Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but it's true. Salma Hayek. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, the Room? I don't think I've ever seen The Room. For me, the So Bad It's Good movies is the live-action Transformers movies. One through five? I like those. But it did get a lot of hate. I don't know. I, 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 uh, but I like it. I love Transformers, actually. Y'all pray for my dog. He got into a fight. Gotta take him to the vet. Man, what's your dog's name, man? So we can get him proper prayer and make sure that your dog is all right man because that sucks man and that, that's man's best friend bro when anything happens to your dog that shit really like oh you really feel like you like like one of your family members is hurt you know what i'm saying coda shout out to coda get better coda man <laughs> josh needs you coda we love you and wish you all the best get better coda Transformers slapped. I agree. Any Chucky movie, I laugh more than I get scared. Chucky and Freddy. 
are hilarious. Chucky is, Chucky is hilarious. Like, this man will say the craziest things before he offs you. <laughs> it's Freddy too. He'll be like, oh, shut up, bitch. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, sad. Don't be sad, man. It's all right. We all have those random moments of sadness, but it's going to be okay. We love you over here. It's all right. You are in a place. We ain't got to be sad, man. It's going to be all right. You you going to feel better here in a little bit. I promise, man. That random sadness will come and go. We got you. It's all love over here. You know what I'm saying? It's all love over here. we got here yes prayers to sia praise dakota prayers to everybody in the chat man i just want to give y'all because for real man y'all changed my life like 100 percent. i just can't i don't even know it's like still hard like it happened so fast you guys it happened so fast you guys are amazing i'm gonna give y'all a proper thank you when the stream ends but just know i, I fucking i love y'all man i love y'all for real the worst movie I've seen that is so bad it's good, probably controversial, but that would be for me Dragon Ball Evolution. That is not controversial at all. That movie was straight ass. <laughs> that is not controversial at all. That is not a hot take. You are right. We agree. I do not understand how folks didn't like Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I like Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I agree. I thought it was a good movie. Thank you. The storm is clearing out. That's what we love to hear. That's what I'm saying. It always gets better, y'all. It always gets better. The Scott Pilgrim movie was my masterpiece when it came out. I have to watch it again. It's been some time since I watched it. Y'all help me be a better person, too, every day. You, Simba, Gary, Meshi, for real. Man, those are the kind of comments, man. It's just like you got to take a moment to just really realize that, like, you know what I'm saying? We all matter to each other. You know what I'm saying? People matter. You matter. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is important. Like, we all play a role here. You know what I'm saying? It's not just me. So when I say it's not a, it's, it's not a me thing, it's a we thing, I fucking am serious about that. Like, y'all are just like, y'all are so important to everything. YouTube, YouTube is nothing without you. It's nothing without us. It's just like this whole thing matters because of everyone. I am never too, never too big to admit that I wouldn't be where I am today without y'all, Simba, anybody. I will never discredit anyone and I'll never act like I did this shit all by myself. Because look at all y'all here in this chat right now. This is why it happened. <laughs> this. So, like, for real, everyone here is important. And I will always give y'all the recognition y'all deserve, for real. Scott Pilgrim hits the fields. I know, my man just wants his woman. When is the YouTube Jesus with the long hair and beard? Hey, you know what I'm saying? Uh, somebody's got to do it, you know what I mean? Has Wynn ever been short-haired and beardless? Yes, I have. Um, I actually, I might have to show y'all a short hair. Like, I think I had like a goatee, like a mustache and like a little thing right here. I might have to show y'all uh, like an old picture of me one day. That's That that might be a stream, looking up like old childhood pictures of me and shit. We might have to do that one day. That's why we do this, Joshua. It's a dream, yeah. But if we can make lives better in any way, I'd say we did our job. And that's facts. Like, at first, it really does start out as a dream. You're just like, man, 
I would really love to do this YouTube thing, you know what I'm saying? It's just like a, you, and it's a dream and you're just chasing it. And then eventually it becomes more of a responsibility, um, not only to yourself, to the people, to your family. Uh, it's not like stressful or hectic anything. I don't want anybody to think like that, but it's just, it becomes a responsibility in a sense that, you know, just like, kind of like when you see somebody, you got to say, hey, it's respectful. It's kind of the same thing with y'all, like, I got to check in with y'all. I got to come through. I got to drop a video. I got to drop a short, short. I got to make sure my people are okay. I got to make sure that they hear from me. I need to hear from them and vice versa. You know what I'm saying? Like, it really is. Like, you, I think about y'all every day. <laughs> every single day, I think about all my subscribers. I can't even lie. Like, I think about y'all all the time. What's your top five best movies? I'm going to ask. I'll honestly have to take some time for that one. We might do a movies tier list stream. That's what we might do for that. We might have to rate like 90s movies, 2000s comedies, or certain genres to make it shorter. We'll we'll figure that out, but that's definitely going to be a thing for sure. Strict YouTube is nothing without strong and bonded community. That is facts. What's underneath my beard though? Uh, a neck. <laughs> There's a fist underneath my beard like Chuck Norris. Mine is literally My Little Pony. I thought it was lame, but so many people liked it, like 89%. I mean, they have a fire theme song. I am not even going to lie. It is catchy as hell. Come on now. My little pony, my little pony. Da, 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 da. Like, <laughs> kids are going to eat that up. So many of my favorite YouTubers have been hit with copyright claims. They seem to be mer merciless lately. And it's not YouTube. I don't want y'all to... It's just... You know, it's how the... I, it's how it works. You know what I'm saying? Like, the companies... like, And I can't fault these um major companies for that either like uh turner est they always block my shit they block it i don't care about a copyright if you copyright claim it that's fine i understand it's technically not mine like hey i respect that because if somebody like if i had like like say if i made patreon ex exclusive videos and somebody was like leaking them or something and or like just uploading them wherever i'd be like yo yo like what the hell you know what i'm talking about so it's kind of the same thing but don't block it. Don't prevent my people from seeing something that I made for them. Just copyright it. Take the revenue. Fuck it. Like, I don't care. Because I know not every video is going to get monetized, and I'm fine with that. That's okay. But don't block it. Like, dog, come on. And Turner EST do that shit all the time. The same thing with Viacom CBS. They be fucking me up. And I'm like, just fucking take the money. It's not even going to make that much anyways. What the hell? But, yeah. I can't do nothing but respect it. I get it. But at certain times, don't block my shit. That's where I have a problem. Want to hear something? Yo, most of my days are spent in La La Land trying to figure out how to deliver new stuff, titles for videos, checking with my people, all that. I have crazy fun just doing that. Yo, for real, 100%. Just doing the whole YouTube thing. Just opening up in the morning, reading comments, seeing what y'all got going on, looking at YouTube Studio, just checking everything out. And you know what I'm saying? Get my day started, thinking of ideas, making thumbnails, doing this, doing that, planning the uh, rollout that we have ahead for y'all, all the uh, sitting there chopping it up with Simba about all the ideas and stuff that we got planned for you guys. It really is fun. It really is. Strikes are brutal, but I get copywritten for music all the time. The only one that got blocked was that dance short I did, and people in Russia can't watch that short. Yeah, it's so weird. You know what I'm saying? I don't really, I don't know. Like, I understand copyright. It's there for a reason, obviously. Yes, because 100%. Because if it wasn't, people would just upload full movies and all the time. Like, there wouldn't be no need for <laughs> streaming services or anything like that. People got to get their money on. They got to get their bread. I understand. But damn. If I'm, allowed, if I'm okay with you copywriting it and taking the revenue from it, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Don't block me. Don't block me. 
Sonic Underground intro song is like so- Sonic music in general is fire. Sonic Sonic music has no reason to go as hard as it does. The Teen Titans theme song is fire. I'll, I'll and I'll also be honest here. I don't even care what anyone says. I don't care what kids come for me. Teen Titans Go is absolute ass and should have never been made. Um, you ruined it. You tried to do the same thing with Thundercats. I'm glad that Thundercats Teen Titans Go remake kind of thing failed because, oh, that made me so angry. Sonic's theme songs are goaded. Who's your favorite wrestler of all time? I got a couple. I got a couple. Off the top of my head... Kurt Angle and Randy Orton. Those two alone right there, bro. Perk Angle in general. TNA Kurt Angle was a monster, son. King of the Hill. I mean, come on. I can sing that entire theme song and there's not even words to it. I know the When there's trouble, you know who to call. Teen Titans! But no, one of my favorite theme songs of all time gotta be Darkwing Duck. Darkwing Duck! Ah, when there's trouble, you call DW. Darkwing Duck! Ah, let's get dangerous. Like, come on, yo. Darkwing, Darkwing Duck! Randy Orton for real. I mean, yo. I hear voices. Let's go now. <laughs> Let's go. Rikishi, Randy, Cactus, Jack, Sting, and Stone Cold. That's a fire lineup. I ain't even gonna lie. I respect that all the way. You know what I'm saying? A little bang bang with the cactus jack and of course Stone Cold. Like, come on now. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> Stone Cold, we don't even have to say anything. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Pass me a beer right now. John Cena and The Rock is the only wrestlers I know of. Ah. Oh. It's never too late to get into wrestling, man. Wrestling is amazing. It's like live-action anime. That's what it is, really, if you ask me. Best case scenario, you could... <laughs> Shout out... Hey, what's up to uh, Don Turbo? Shout out to Don. Thanks for coming through, man. Undertaker and Kane gave you nightmares. The Brothers of Destruction? I mean, yo, I I really thought that they were brothers. And I really thought they had this horrific, tragic backstory. I thought The Undertaker was dead. I thought Kane was burned in a house or whatever the fuck his story was. I thought it was real. And I used to eat it up so much. It's, oh, and it's good times, too. I'm glad I thought wrestling was real as a kid. You know how much joy that shit brought me? Do y'all remember the show of those ninja animals that stayed in their huge turtle? It was like the headquarters. It was on Cartoon Network. I don't remember that. I, I'm pretty sure a Google will give me the name. Wrestling and archery is my least hottest sport, in my opinion. And that's all right. Wrestling isn't for everyone. I understand it completely. But uh, wrestling is fire. I'm going to have a match one day. I do not care. I'm going to get proper wrestling training and have one match in my lifetime. I want to know what it's like to step on the canvas, get in the squared circle, and throw down. I need to know. Razor Ramon? Of course. You know, the bad guy. What's happening, Chico? If I had a toothpick, I'd flick it at the screen right now. Come on, now. Whoa. Is it wrong that The Rock was far cuter as a wrestler than he is. I don't know. <laughs> I can't answer that. I don't know. Bam Bam Bigelow. Hey, you know what I'm saying? From Asbury Park. You better. That was like, he should have not been able to move that much. That big man was hitting moonsaults and everything. Bam Bam Bigelow was crazy. 
Booker T, The Rock, Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan. Uh, Hulk Hogan was once the face of America. Like, think about that. This man was once the top athlete in America. This man was on Wheaties boxes and everything. The Hulkster. <laughs> and I look back at Hulk Hogan and I'm like, how? <laughs> how did this gimmick get over so much? How did Hulk Hogan become the guy? It's so bad. Let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> He just fucking, everything was Hulk this, Hulkamania, Hulkster. Like, it's so bad. Oh, I laugh at it now. The narcissist Lex Luger, of course. Lex Luger was an animal. Rey Mysterio was the man, too. Hey, I, I loved Eddie Guerrero. Oh, I miss Eddie so much. Y'all don't understand, man. Mr. Lie cheating still. You know what I'm talking about? Viva la raza. Like, yo, Eddie Guerrero was, he was the man. He was that guy for real. Macho Man Randy Savage. Ooh, yeah. Of course. Hulk Hogan was very literally him. He was. I just don't know how. I don't know how it happened. The Rock was in that one episode of that 70s show where he started as Dwayne Johnson's father. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I've seen every episode of that 70s show. That's one of my favorites. What was that move that he did? The 619? Yep. Booyaka Booyaka. 619. Hey, Booyaka Booyaka. Ray Mysterio. You already know what's up. Ultimate Warrior. That man used to be off the chain. I never underst understood a word the Ultimate Warrior. Jesus, I never understood a word the Ultimate Warrior said. That man would be going off and just fucking shaking the ropes and uh, running to the ring. Like, you're getting tired before the match even starts, sir. Mr. T was also around a lot during that time. Yes, Mr. T was a big part of the WWE for a minute there. The Ultimate Warrior did the pump, then the pump was full, and then he would body slam fools left and right. The Ultimate Warrior was a he he was a madman. He literally was the Ultimate Warrior. I'm the Hulk Hogan generation. Hey man, they they had some good wrestlers too. The eighties was fun. American Ninja Warrior. That was pretty cool. I used to laugh. I used to watch people. Or Wipeout. Yeah, <laughs> Wipeout was hilarious. Cocaine is a hell of a drug, fam. And that's another thing. Have y'all ever watched Dark Side of the Ring? Since we were talking about Quiet on the set earlier with like that dark stuff. The dark Side of the Ring is like this rec this wrestling documentary show. And it takes the, the dark side of the ring. And yo, a lot of these people that I grew up watching and love so much. I'll just say it. They're pieces of shit. And I'm like... Yo, what is going on? What is happening? And then all this stuff with Vince and Brock comes out. And I'm like, not nah, Brock. Yo, I loved Brock. I'm like, oh, come on, bro. Brock Lesnar was the fucking man. And I'm like, I can't fucking have anything. I used to be a big Enzo Amore fan. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, what is going on? It's ridiculous. Shawn Michaels, of course. Hey, I'm just a sexy boy. Sexy boy. <laughs> I'm just a boy toy. I make him hot. I make him shiver. The knees get weak whenever I'm around. So many people grew up with was drunk to the rim <laughs> for real. Bro, they go out there and slay the dragon and then just go throwing the people around the ring. Yo, congratulations on one kind. Yo, what's up? Shout out to Ravage One. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. We here. It happened. <laughs> it happened. Live action shows on Cartoon Network was forgettable. Did they have any? I don't even remember any. I met Andre the Giant in 1985. It was the best day of my life. He carried me because I was a kid. Yo, that is... That is one of the greatest stories that you could ever tell. Like, that is that is amazing. I wish I could say that. 
Now I have Eric Clapton song cocaine. <laughs> cocaine. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah, okay. Undertaker 2, I picked him a lot in the game Raw vs. SmackDown on PS2. One of the greatest games ever made. Live action Ben 10 was goaded. Yes, they did do a live action Ben 10. I think they did a couple movies also. I remember the one when he was a kid. It was cool back then. But, oh, man, the CGI now is so mid, but loved it back then when I was a kid. Andre the Giant was such a great man, a big, gentle giant, and was amazing. The Princess Bride. Yes, he was in The Princess Bride. That is right. Yeah, I watched the uh, Andre, the docu Andre the Giant documentary not too long ago. The man really was. He, he, he was a good dude, but he was all, it was also crazy. This dude drank, like, 80 beers in one night or some shit. I'm about to change my username in a few days. What should my username be? It can be anything. Hmm. We might have to try and find Ravage One a new username, y'all. The only live action show on Cartoon Network that I can think of is Hole in the Wall. And that's it. That The game show Hole in the Wall? I thought that was on like ABC or NBC or something like that. Or unless it's something else. The theme song for it still rocks to this day. I wasn't a big, I wasn't a big Ben 10 fan. The only, wait, the only live action shows I remember was Dude, What Would Happen, Destroy, Build, Destroy, Hole in the Wall, Level Up, The Incredible Crew, Out of Jimmy's, out of Jimmy's Head and Stop Bullying, Speak Up. I only remember like two of those. I don't know if it was CGI, man. Dude, the Ben 10 live action movie was what? Hold on. Y'all are, okay, hold on. Fun to watch, okay. 80 beers, good lord, Andre the Giant. Yes, look at it, like, it's crazy. The stuff is insane. Dude, I haven't posted anything for months. It's all right. There's never, yo, it's, there's never a perfect time to start posting. Just start. Just start. If y'all understood the setup I have, the, the setup I got to 100K subscribers with, is crazy. A laptop with a cracked screen. So cracked, I can't see. I have to hook it up to a separate monitor with an HDMI cord. The laptop itself is trash. It's trash. It's a potato. I can't game. I can only do like flash games. I can't do anything on it. I can only record videos, right? Um, really, I have a Dollar Tree set up with like some speakers I got from the dollar store. Uh, I just got like an RBG light. I, this is all stuff for my room. Like, not, like really, like I've been doing this with n no money, like at all. So it's never too late, you guys. Like, I'm just now about to get an actual PC built for the content creation space. I'm just, just about to get that stuff, you know. So if, and that's another thing. If I, if I, if I can do it, any of you can do it. Not the Dollar Tree setup. Yes, the Dollar Tree setup. The phone stand, the uh, the 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 speakers to hook up to my laptop and shit. All that, yo, for real. I'm telling y'all, do what you gotta do. Work with what you got, and you'll be surprised at what you can make happen. I'm serious. Oh, man, the good old DIY set up until you get it better. I'm saying, bro. I'm saying. That's what I mean. Like, work with what you... You never know what's going to happen, man. No worries, Ravaged. I haven't made a video on my main channel for two months, and it's never too late. Yo, don't rush it either. Don't just put out videos for the sake just to put them out because then nothing's going to happen and it's not going to work. It's going to be garbage and no one's going to watch it. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. Do not rush to put a video out just to try and stay relevant or to try and make sure you put a video out every day and do all that stuff. Um, streaming every day, that's more realistic. That's more realistic. In order to put a video out every single day and be that consistent, you will have to back catalog and schedule videos to be released. And a lot of us... 
don't have time to do that. We don't have time to put together 10 videos to be scheduled ahead. You know what I'm saying? So you just figure out your own flow. You're going to find going to find out what works for you. I'm still finding out what works with me as far as videos and schedule releases and stuff like that. So you got it. Don't even trip, man. We need to set up a Kickstarter to get win a new monitor. No, it's all right. I got one coming next month. I got one coming next month. It's okay. I started off with a save a lot setup. Yo, we got to start somewhere, yo. It's okay. The Dollar Tree setup pretty much helped this dude. It did. <laughs> it did, yo. I spent like $15. It was like the, you know, like the electronics would be like a couple bucks more, like five bucks. I spent like $15 on like everything I needed to like kind of have a decent enough setup to make something happen. Favorite old show like Golden Girls, Cheers, or stuff like that. Married with Children. Married with Children, easy, off top. I watch it at least once a year. Either that or, well, Sopranos ain't that old, but I watch the Sopranos once a year too. It may be bad, but it works. Hey, like I'm saying, but it's not going to stay like that forever. You know what I'm saying? Like the universe will bless you. I'm telling you, and it's going to come out of nowhere, y'all. It's just going to happen. You can't predict this shit. You can put in all the hard you can put in all the hard work. You can try and plan it as much as you want to, but it's just gonna happen when it it's just gonna happen when it happens. Like that's it. Just keep working. Just keep working. The work don't stop after it happens either. You gotta keep going. You gotta keep going. Me hating Dollar Tree is just a me thing. Hey, I don't really fuck with the Dollar Tree too much, but the energy drink section and like uh, some candy and shit. I'll go in there for that. I got those primes up there from Dollar Tree. Like I'm not about to go to a gas station and pay four dollars for a prime. I'm about to go to the dollar store and get a prime. You damn right. <laughs> and my editing is so cheap. I use Sony Vegas Pro 14 to animate, and it looks so hard because I have to use every frame to animate. You just got to do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? I don't know nothing about animation. So kudos to you. Because obviously, like, animation is probably not as easy as people think it is. And I'm going to, like, if you actually, like, animate and make cartoons and stuff, I'm going to have to check that out. If that's what you do, because not only that, my boy Simba right here has some ideas for animes and cartoons and actually getting stuff off the ground. So if your stuff is like, hey, y'all might have to link up and talk about some. If, if that's what you do, I don't even know, but... That's fire if you make cartoons and animations and stuff, man. I use my music setup to stream with. Doodoo HP laptop that was once the family laptop using my big screen TV muted as a monitor. Yo, I'm saying. Like, what? That is fucking crazy. The big screen TV? Son. My man's had the... <laughs> the big screen TV monitor is funny, but that's so hilarious. Back in the day, I made a Gary's Mod video, and that video was glitchy as fuck, but I got 1.2Ks, which I'm proud of. you damn right. Be proud of those. I'm proud of every single one of those units. Every single one of them. <laughs> if y'all know what that's from, that <laughs> every single one. Do you remember the Drink fruit Fruitopia? Yo, I bought some the other day in my uh, smoke shop. Down the street from me has some. They had Fago, which I love Fago. I have not seen Fago here in a long time. And I was like, what? So I got the Fire Pop Fago and I got a Fruitopia. Actually, facts. And it still was fired. It was like $1.29. I was like, what? The setup is only bad when a vast majority points it out. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But hey, we've all seen those uh, videos where it's like, my um, rate my viewers set up or something like that. We always see. Well, I just see some bad setups. I ain't gonna lie. When I realized I had the same long hair as you from when I was in my twenties. Hey, long hair gang for life. Even if you don't have it now, you're still part of long hair gang. You walk. You you walked. You you know what I'm saying. You walk so I could run. Thank you. 
I know he started on Married with Children, but I loved Ed O'Neill on Modern Family, but wow. It's sobering how young what he was in that show in the 90s. I know. And he's the perfect TV dad. I love Al Bundy so much. Four touchdowns, one game, Polk High legend. Hold up. I noticed I got my PS4. I can play God of War on my phone. That is fire. Who wouldn't want to play God of War on their phone if they could? Yeah, I got cartoons on my main channel. That's what's up. But they're like parodies? What do you yo, I do that. I'm a that's my thing. Yo, like I'm gonna have to look into it. I might have to actually do some reactions to some of your content. That's what's up. I do have a sick idea for a YouTube exclusive anime, and yeah, dog, it sucked, but dang nabbit it worked. You damn right it did. Oh, and I remember some of your ideas. I'm pretty sure you've been working on it since the last time you told me, but he's got some great anime ideas, y'all. I like the Dollar Tree. It does its job. It's there for me when I need it. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, don't buy everything from the Dollar Tree. But I'm never too good for it. Ever. Because there might be a day where you only got a couple pocket, a couple bucks left in your pocket. You might want to go get you a bag of chips and a drink or something, you know? One of my newest community posts reached 1.6k votes for the first time. That's what I'm talking about. You see what I'm saying? We're all getting somewhere in our own way. We're all starting to see a little bit of engagement here and there. Those little moments like that are letting you know you're doing something right. So keep it up with your community posts, man. A lot of people don't know that. Community posts are important, and they actually do have a chance at getting you a lot more engagement because it shows up in your homepage feed just like everything else, just like a video, just like a short. And, uh, yeah, so definitely take advantage of community posts, guys, for sure. It's definitely a way for people to see you more and also for you to uh, reach out to the people in a different way other than a video or a live stream or something. You saying I need to shop where you are? No, I'm, I was just saying, you know, sh there's nothing wrong with shopping at the Dollar Tree at all. Don't buy everything on eBay. You have to be very strategic with buying on eBay. You better read that description up and down and twice, three times maybe just to make sure because you will get scammed on eBay real quick if you do not pay attention. Also, real quick, thank y'all to each person that took the time to sub to your boy. Y'all are awesome. Seriously, this medicine kicking in. Man, appreciate you. We love you, Simba. We appreciate you, Simba. Like I said, man, you deserve your flowers, your roses. And if y'all haven't yet, please go subscribe to Simba. Please do it. Y'all won't regret it. Y'all are going to see me over there all the time. You're going to see a lot more people. You're going to fit in with the chat. I'm telling y'all. Um, it's definitely something y'all don't want to miss out. He's going to be a, he's a part of this journey with me. Like I said, all the stuff I have planned for you is not just my stuff. He's involved with it. Gary, you're a meshy. They're all going to be, you're going to see their faces on my channel, my face on their channel, vice versa. They're, we're a team. It's really a team effort thing. We all collab together all the time. So if you want to see me, uh, more of me and just more people like me with the same sense of humor, the same mind, you know, stuff like that. Definitely go subscribe to Simba, Gary, and everybody else. Congratulations again, bro. Love y'all. I'm going to lurk in the background. Have a good, have a great stream at night, everyone. Love you guys. We love you too, Simba. Shout out to Simba. Like I said, make sure y'all go subscribe to Simba. We love you, bro. As my Australian, what do you say? Hussy? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. I get it now. I was like, what? No problem, mate. We ain't going to be on for too much longer. What is it? 11.33. Well, well, where I am, it's 11.33. I guess I'll go till 12. I'll go to midnight here for me. And we can go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and shut it down. It is a Sunday night, but there's no... I just had to. I had to come through and thank everybody for the 100K. And uh, we're going to do a proper stream soon like an actual live stream so anybody got any questions anybody want to say anything anything else anybody want to talk about for these last 30 minutes before we uh 
before everybody go ahead and get up off here and we call it a night. Oh, wow. Is it late where you over are there? Yeah, it, uh, it's about to be midnight here. It's about to be midnight. Hussy means energized woman. Yes, I know. It just like, I don't know why. At first, I guess it's because like, I just read it and the H didn't look like an H. And I was just like, wait a minute, what? But yes, I know what that means. It's 9.34 p.m. here. I wish. And I got to wake up in the morning to get the kids ready for school. But luckily I'm off though. But who wants to wake up at 6? Like, And honestly, it's true. They looked this up. Scientists have done their science stuff that they love to do. You know, all these studies and all this stuff that we really don't need to, like, you know, instead of, like, trying to do other things with the world, we're just going to do this study that, um... <laughs> Alarm clocks are actually unhealthy for you. Us to be forcefully awakened out of our sleep like that, like, like it's actually not good for our heart or none of that shit. But, you know, <laughs> we got to make the money, though. I'm already subscribed to Simba Games. Right. Awesome. Thank you. My time is 12.34 a.m. All right, you're just a little bit ahead of me. Heading off, you guys. Goodbye, you guys. And when thank you guys, thank you guys for existing. Big hugs. Good goodbye, you guys. Jesus, I'm stuttering. I'm sorry. My ADHD causes me to like really be trash at reading sometimes. But thank you, Saya, for coming through. You always come through. We love you. Like I said, good times will always come back around. Thank you. We really need to make school and work four days a week. We all deserve a three-day weekend. I agree. I'm down with that. I'm a, I'm just down. I'm down with less like forced labor. I'm not one of those people that think like nobody should work. I'm not saying that. Um, I'm just saying like, hey, come on, y'all are y'all are pushing it here. Come on, <laughs> like everyone hates their job. It shouldn't be like this. I got to head off too. Thank you for the stream and congrats on the 100K grand win. Thank you, the Dynamic Apprentice, for always coming through. You always come through too. I love you. You're a real one. What's up, Aiden? How you doing? As a matter of fact, 936 is about to be... And you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. Everybody seems to be getting off of here. And uh, it is getting pretty late. It's a Sunday night. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and end this stream. Um, thank you all, for real, again, for the 100K. Um, you guys have changed my life. Uh, it was never supposed to happen. Like, uh, like I said, where I come from, nobody does anything amazing. Nobody does anything great. Um, people just end up being regular people living nine to five lives. There's nothing wrong with that, but dreams see ridiculous where I'm from and to just wake up one day and see something you've been working so hard for just happen. It's one of those feelings like you don't know what to say. You don't understand what to do. You're just like, holy shit. Like, it's happening. You're just like, what the fuck? And I'm still soaking it all in, you know? But I really mean it when I say I love you guys. Thank you. You really did change my life. And uh, I can't wait to continue to do more live streams and get y'all involved in this rollout of content and videos and live streams and shorts and other fun things that I have with Simba Gary, you're a meshie and everybody. Um, it's going to be really fun. You guys are going to be more involved. All of our communities are going to be coming together and, and mingling and having fun and talking. It's 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 going to be great. We're trying to switch stuff up. Like I said, we're not trying to... He's not. They're not trying to be your typical gaming channels. I'm not trying to be a reaction channel forever. I want to have reactions as a part of my lineup, yeah. But I also want to do a lot more stuff with you guys. And we're definitely going to do it... Um, whether you came from videos or shorts or live streams or this or that, however you came across my videos, man, I appreciate you. I love you. And no words that I'm saying right now could ever do justice for how much y'all mean to me and what you've done for me, for real. But I just want to wish everyone a great night. And it's only up from here for everybody. Um, anytime anybody's going through anything, uh, y'all can 
talk to me. You can hit me up on Instagram at when the G. Uh, I will. I answer messages. I'm not a stranger. I don't care. I'm never too good to talk to anybody. I don't care how many subscribers I get. I will never feel famous or celebrity or this. I'll never feel like that. I'm just a normal dude like y'all who wants to do the videos and content and things that I do with like-minded people that enjoy the same things that I do. You know what I'm saying? That's really it. Um, thank you again. I love y'all. And uh, I just wish that... Um, not wish. I hope that everyone gets to experience what I have experienced these past couple days. Whatever your dreams are, follow it. Chase it. Fuck anyone that tells you you can't do it. Um, forget the negative shit. Don't give it any attention. I know it can be hard sometimes, but you always got to be happy. You always got to try and put a smile on your face. You got to fake it until you make it. Do what you got to do for yourself, but never be too good to help. But never be too good to help others. The ones that deserve it. And always make sure you keep your eyes out for those that want to see you fall and will take you down. I love y'all. Good night.